if I drill into the um, the section on um, you know the traffic uh, on networks, on the costs from it, firstly, the numbers and the data that they're looking for are incredibly detailed, and the definitions are incredibly poor. So, for example, on the section on uh, network infrastructure costs, he uses a very strange phrase of network infrastructure capable of optimizing traffic. Now, I don't know, you know what that especially means, whether they phrase that to focus on active parts of the network rather than things like you know, towers and concrete and civil works and ducts and so on, or if it's supposed to be talking about you know, the real sort of control layer like the packet inspection, because something like a fiber um, isn't capable on its own of optimizing traffic. So I'm a little bit confused about the definitions. The other thing that it's, it's um, poor at is um, yeah, the assumptions around um, the, the, there's no, there's no. It essentially assumes that increases in data traffic implicitly mean increases in costs, uh, and and that largely isn't true, especially on fixed networks and to a large degree on mobile. A lot of the costs are about coverage, um, not incremental capacity, and, and it's very inconsistent about where it uses words like uh, incremental uh, costs, and it doesn't bother to define those uh, as well. Also, the period over which the, um, the questions ask about costs and traffic, it spans an interesting period in the telecoms industry, not just the pandemic over the last few years, but also a period in which a lot of operators have um, spun out or sold off parts of their infrastructure. And so the direct investment that an operator might have made a few years ago perhaps won't be made over the next few years because they've spun out their tower businesses and they've gone from a CapEx model to an OpEx model. Or the same thing in, in fiber, maybe they have a wholesale arrangement with other providers. Uh, and so I think that you know, the, the, whether any of the statistics are like for like comparable is highly doubtful. 